Welcome back to People Playground. Today, we're checking out some more SCPs. We have SCP-999, the Tickle Monster. This guy is so cute. He looks like a giant ball of orange. I love him. We've got Deadpool. He's, I know he's not an SCP. <laughs> you don't need to tell me. And we have SCP-002, the giant bowl of flesh thing that turns everything into furniture. Can it turn Deadpool into furniture though? First, we need to make sure that this Deadpool is real. So we have to shoot him. I'm so sorry, champ, but this has to happen. Ugh. There we go. We got him right in the tummy. He has fallen over, except I think that bullet hole just regenerated and this guy is fine. He is kicking again. Okay, let's just shoot him a few more times. There we go. Oh my god. We've got blood on the tickle monster. <laughs> that is terrible. Someone get a napkin for that guy. We need to clean him up. Okay, Deadpool is back alive again. Man, this guy is strong. Guy is basically a zombie, except what happens when he goes inside? Like, just walk. Please, just, there we go. He is realistically walking up inside SCP double, oh my God, it's jammed his leg. <laughs> it just disappeared. He is gone and he has turned into a little red pot plant. Let's just take this thing out of here. Look at that. We could start our own Ikea if Ikea was like flesh and bones and stuff. All right, little guy, you keep that. All right, that's yours. You can look after it. It is, oh, I just noticed he's animated. He looks, yeah, that's so cute. It's like a slime from Slime Rancher if they were covered in blood. All right, we have a new and improved siren head. Look at this guy. This dude is massive. Oh my God, what is that? Does he shoot sound waves from his mouth? That's incredible. Oh, dude, this guy's awesome. Let's just spawn a person here and then just, oh yeah, it blasts him. Oh, dude, guy got wrecked. Got wrecked by the siren head scream. Okay, I like that guy. Let's just go ahead and uh, put this dude in there. Just dispose of the evidence. Sorry there, Mr. Gray Human. Get on the inside. All right. I'm going to try and drag Siren Head inside SCP-002. Um, I'm just going to grab him by the face. And we're just going to go in head first. There we go. And you get, champ. Put your noggin in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's in. He is inside the big giant SCP-002. Nice. He appears to be stuck. Oh my god, really? All right, I'm gonna have to pick his legs up and just jam him in. Ah, oh, yep. Yeah. All right, I think I just broke his ankle. That's all good. Come on. Come on, get in there. Yeah, nice. Like a glove. <laughs> I don't seem to be able to get the arms in there. They're very much jammed. Oh, hang on. Now we're getting somewhere. Urgh. Okay, that's not working. All right, let's spawn a human on the inside. Hey, and see what happens. All right. The human has been consumed. Siren Head is still there. We can't get rid of Siren Head inside this thing. Maybe because he's too big and his arms are sticking out. I'm not sure. All right, hang on. I'm just going to drag this. Come on, get back out of there. Okay, I think I might need to get some grenades. Let's just fill this thing up with grenades. And uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, set a few of them off. There we go. That should blow him up. Nice. Um, Is he dead or no? He's still alive. All right, let's just stuff a couple of all-purpose bombs in here. Here we go. Oh, nice one. <laughs> he's stuck to the ceiling. Oh, no. And he's on fire. He's still alive, though. He's still screaming. Oh, no. What have we done? I think we've broken him. All right, I'm going to go with the biggest bomb of them all, the hydrogen bomb. I think this might even blow apart SCP-002. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That got rid of him. <laughs> This little guy, he's got the pot plant on his head. All right, he managed to save the pot plant. Well done. Can you actually kill this little guy? Let's try this. I've just got this energy sword. Oh, okay, he just jams right in him. And he doesn't even care. He's like, yeah, whatever, you can do that. I'm gonna steal your sword now. I can't get it back. Whoa, the door is glowing red hot. So here we have a zombie. It's a real zombie, all right? I'll show you it's a real zombie by just getting a human. Look at this. The zombie's gonna go over there and he's gonna kiss him. Actually, I don't even know what he's doing. <laughs> Why? Okay, that is not what zombies do. Okay, they're kissing like really, really close in like a vibrating fashion. They're bumping their pixels together. This is how baby zombies are made. You're supposed to attack him. All right, let's get a more human looking human. There we go. Oh, he just melted. I think SCP-002 is super red hot at the moment. Even the zombie's melting. And the zombie's back alive again. Okay, let's just throw those ones away. <laughs> let's get a real human. And zombies. Come on. Get him. 
Really? You're not even gonna bite? Oh my god. It's just barbecued humans. All right, this time let's try a bunch of zombies. Let's throw them down. And oh my god, they bit his leg. Oh, bro, it is over for you. You notice the zombies aren't going for him anymore because he's a zombie now. They don't, zombies don't eat zombies. That's dumb. They're not cannibals. Jeez. <laughs> They've got morals and standards. Okay, this guy is definitely getting moldy. Look how moldy this guy is. He's like a piece of cheese. It's gross. It's covered in all sorts of zombie bacteria. That's disgusting. Okay, let's throw this guy in here and see if we can get him to go inside. They're just walking over that other zombie. Okay, they don't care about doing that. Look at this guy at the back here. Why isn't he like forcing the door to be closed and the SCP turning him into furniture? It's just not happening. Okay, these zombies are coming up. Are these guys gonna push the other ones in? Maybe they are. Come on, come on, you can do it. Push harder, champs. Oh, oh, it just, the door just chopped him in half. This guy's head is stuck in the door. This guy is still alive. He's still alive. How is that even possible? Okay, this guy is still here. The other dude just turned into a TV. Yes. <laughs> I needed a new TV. This guy is trying to push this guy up the hill. <laughs> just pushing him up that hill. I call this guy over here Sisyphus. And this guy's name is Boulder. Come on, push him. He's like, kiss your knees. Kiss him. Kiss them knees. Come on. Push. Push. More passion, more passion, more passion, more energy. There we go. Why is this guy not being eaten? I don't get it. All right, just, uh, there we go. Just had to break that guy's spine. Now shove him, shove him in there. There you go, champ. Have yourself a TV. All right, two zombies gone. And we got ourselves a table, another plant. And this guy's perfectly fine. What is the, oh no. There's a safe zone. There's a safe zone. It's at the back. Let's test this. Safe zone. All right. Door's closed. This guy at the back here is safe. Oh, we've got a whatever that is now. That's nice. Is that a window? So we found out in the last video that this time guy can actually be beaten by SCP-002. Check this out. We throw him in there and he is gone. That guy is not coming back again. Even though he can rewind time whenever he dies. See this? Let's just shoot him with an upside down gun. There we go, he's dead. And rewind time, and he's back again. That'll never get old, it's so cool to watch. However, what happens if this guy touches helium? That's right, helium. Let's go ahead and touch this guy, I don't know, maybe he's just his butt. <laughs> All right, the helium is going in the bum, and he is growing really, really big, and his butt just exploded. Oh, he's not dead though. He's not dead. That's weird. Okay, he just rewinded and I think, is he broken? All right, let's touch him in the head with some helium. Let's grow his giant clock head. This guy at the back here is just watching. <laughs> He's like, whoa, that's amazing. Okay, I don't think that guy's coming back. All right, let's try it like this without actually starting the clock first and we'll see what happens. Oh, okay, head just exploded. Now what is he doing? He's got plus symbols coming out of his body. I don't think that's good. All right, can we throw him in here just to get rid of him? What about the legs? All right, let's give him giant shoulders then. Here he goes. And pop. Oh, oh, the head's trying to do something. The head where the clock is, is trying to find the body, but the helium just completely destroys it. Clock man can be beaten by helium. He's definitely dead. Look at that. It's a skull. <laughs> the sad thing about this guy is that he can never escape because if he walks forwards... Ready? Watch. If he goes too far forward, yep, he's gone. This guy is gone now. And we have a third TV. So here we have Santa Claus. And here we have a kid. It's the bike kid. And the kid just kind of wants to know what he's getting for Christmas, except Santa doesn't give out presents until he's had food. That's right. You got to put food out for Santa. So um, we don't really have any food. So we're going to try to make the kid the food. Okay. Nice one. Now this kid should be edible. Let's just um, take the kid over here and maybe just grab like his foot. Is he edible? Can we eat him? Oh, he's not eating him. Okay, that's nice. What about the head? Oh, oh, he just ate his head. Oh my God. Okay, okay, he definitely is full. Yep, Santa has a full stomach. He's gonna be fine. He is ready to deliver presents. All right, let's go ahead and make a part of this guy edible. Maybe just like his, I don't know, like his, like his back or something. 
Or is okay, that was his butt. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and re uh, let's get the time clock going. Alright, and we're just gonna just put this guy up here like this. Oh, oh, you ate him. Okay, now this guy's gonna rewind time. And what's he doing? He's blessing Santa with plus symbols. <laughs> okay. Oh, he dead. What's he doing? He's flapping around. This guy definitely doesn't like his parts being deleted. He freaks out. It just breaks him. So this thing right here is actually a portal gun. That's right. I'm gonna go ahead and test if the portal gun works with the time guy. So let's just go ahead and put some portals around the place like this. Very cool. All right. Now we need to just enable time. Excellent. Get this guy. Drop him through the portal. All right. Oh, nice. Nice. He is back out again. He's got a sore head. Bit of a headache. Understandable. And let's just rewind his time and see what happens. Can he go back through the portal? Come on. Whoa, dude. Yes, he can. He can actually rewind time through portals. That is incredible. Okay. Can we put a portal inside this thing? Oh my God. <laughs> yes, we can. Get in there. Oh my god, that's bad for him. And he is now a vase. All right, I'm just gonna get rid of this wall. Get rid of that. So I guess the question is, can we now turn this into a zombie trap? So let's just get some zombies here like this. And then throw down just a, a human. Go on, go on. And they're gonna walk in. Oh, it's sorta... No, no, they've made a bridge. <laughs> they made an actual bridge. Okay, it almost worked. Now this guy is a zombie. Okay, maybe I need to make something that'll just kind of get the zombies to go sort of inside the portal and sort of stay there like that. Okay, let's get some bait again. I'm going to use Santa this time. There we go. Okay, zombies are walking in. Oh, they're kind of piling up. Yes. Yes, the zombie trap works. It works. Okay, we have a stack of TVs and a chair. Look at this infinite furniture. I am a genius, guys. I have worked out the mystery of infinite furniture. I'm going to be a billionaire. All thanks to homeless Santa and all these zombies. That's right. It's a sustainable resource. <laughs> oh, no. The zombie is stuck. Get in there. Get in there, dude. Where'd he go? I think he just exploded. Alrighty, here we have SCP-096. This guy is mega creepy. Apparently, he's got a rage mode. Oh, my God. Oh, my... That's his rage mode? He just opens his mouth. Wow. So scary. Does he get people? No, he doesn't. He doesn't do anything. He does scream a lot, though, in, like, a very crying sort of fashion. He doesn't stand very well because his arms are very top-heavy. They're like skewers, like big giant forks. Look at him just pushing this guy into the portal. He's like, yeah, get in there. Get in the portal. Can this guy be destroyed, though? Let's just try this. Oh, the bullets go through his head. Uh, eat on. Oh, hang on a second. I think this guy can eat. All right, let's get this guy. Let's see if he eats. Are you going to eat? Come on, dude, eat. Urgh, yummy. He's not eating. Okay, I don't think he eats very well. Okay, we've got to get some of this furniture out of here. We definitely have too much. We are overstocked. Sales have been down. No one's buying the furniture. Probably because of all the bones and blood on it. There you go, champ. Have a couple of TVs on the house. Just knocked this guy out. All right, can we chainsaw this dude? All right, can chainsaw him, but it doesn't seem to hurt him at all. What about the Sword of Infinity? Does it hurt him? Oh, yeah, buddy, it does. You cannot survive the Sword of Infinity. It kills everything. Actually, everything. Okay, let's go ahead and throw this guy into the SCP and see what happens. He's in there. Oh, it's closing in on him. Oh, this guy is gone for good, right? Yes. That is the strongest of the SCPs. It is confirmed. If there's anything you guys want to see me throw into this thing, let me know in the comments. I'll catch you guys next time.